Hey you guys, CreepyKillXP here, and today I have a remake of my most popular video, which is a redstone torch key door, which basically works just by putting a torch here, lets you walk in, and then it closes by itself after a certain amount of time. And the reason I'm making this video is because this version is more compact, first of all, and it also has a much easier lock, which is literally putting one lever. So go or you could put the lever here and it works exactly the same and um, yeah let's get on with the tutorial all right guys so the first thing you want to do is find out where you want to put your door and then from there you want to find out which direction you want to walk in and in that direction so for instance if you're walking in th this direction you want to put two blocks on the side like so um, get two sticky pistons face them downwards like this with blocks on their faces, go down two blocks like so, and put this block here. Redstone torch on uh, either side of that. Then the next thing you want to do is make sort of a plus shape, actually not a plus shape, plus shape with this corner filled in. Um, you want to put redstone, 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 and two comparators facing opposite directions like so. Uh, put a block here, with redstone on top, block here, redstone, block, torch, block, redstone, then you want to put down two sticky pistons, then your door, and there you are. That, that's a uh, redstone torch key activated door. It's more compact than my last one. And to add a lock, all you have to do is place one more block with a lever on it, and there you go. Uh, the other thing you could do is put it right here or down there, but that would look ugly because then you can see the piston head. And um, personally I like putting on this side more. Actually no, never mind. Um, there's just a little bug with the lock where when you unpower it, it sometimes will open up. Well, uh, either way, thanks for watching.